Okay, so this is my gym um, that I've been getting lots of uh, questions about. My outdoor jungle gym. Basically, if you look down here at these posts down at the bottom that we're walking into, uh, we'll start with that. I'll do several videos over the next couple weeks. But that post, basically there's a, uh, what I made it out of was steel plating. And basically the post is a 2x4 sideways sandwiched between two 2x6s two square to make a hollow post um, is basically what I've got there and then I set it in these steel pieces I made basically you can't see because of the grass from cutting mowing basically it's a piece that runs down and is bent at 90 degrees across and back up with these two straps uh, across it welded across to uh, keep them together uh, at the bottom of this post there is two or there's a three inch steel casing pipe that is driven down into the ground uh, just a couple feet basically to keep it from walking and then I built these cement pillars to keep it from sinking any further uh, so that's what I've got there as far as all the posts are all set up like that uh, this ladder is basically to help stiffen it uh, and they just made that out of crate metal from ATVs uh, the crates that they're shipped in but that's pretty much what I got. As far as posts, I've got three 12-foot posts. This three you're looking at there on the monkey bar end of it. Um, they, uh, there's three 12s made the same way. The 20-footers for the rope, they're made the same exact way. But if you look on this far one here, you see I've got the 2x6s spliced up there. And then I have the 2x4s overlap, splice down a couple feet uh, to keep the strength in it. Um, all these brackets that I made, these angle brackets and flat plates, I cut out of the same metal. And made brackets to hold the beam. My eye beam, which basically all it is, is two 2x4s laminated together between two 2x6s to give me that lip to grab with my fingers. Uh, and then obviously another stability post runs up for the rope. If you look at the top of the rope, you can see that I built angle pieces, again made out of Yamaha crepe metal. Uh, and then I have big heavy axle square U-bolts from aluminum trailers uh, that are down through the top on a steel plate that hold the rope. And the two outer ones are for my Olympic rings, which are not hanging there at the time. As we walk around, there's more plating, and then my two pull-up bars, and then my vertical bar. Uh, they're basically just in with flanges, floor flanges, and a T, and then the center bar runs down, and it runs down into the ground, probably about a foot, just to give support. And then obviously my pegboard, the pegboard wall and rock wall, you might see the owl up there. He's there to scare away the woodpeckers. They attacked this this spring. They've got two holes in it. One almost to the top on the one post for the rope. And if we duck under, try not to blind you with the sunlight here, and we jump to the other side, one right there. And this is my wall ball station. This is where we do burpees with med balls and do the wall balls. As you can see, our rings hanging on my monkey bars. Monkey bars are 12 foot high. Uh, and then the rings hang down low enough that I can't touch the ground. But I'm able to do some ring work where, there with them. Uh, the salmon ladder. These 2x4s, these are to give depth to the holes for the, uh, for the uh, pegboard. Um, and also just help lock these 2x6s together so they don't warp and bow, keep them. This 2x4 this here is basically a safety rail for anybody on the monkey bars. If you can't make it across or make it back, you can put your foot on there and walk back across. Uh, if we go back around here, there's the salmon ladder. I don't have my extra pieces slid in. I have to be honest, I've been slacking on it. Um, I do have pieces that slide in. There's a bee. 
do the pieces that slide in right here that short shorten that different distance halfway right now they're 12 inches apart uh, with the pieces they are six inches apart there's a woodpecker that started another hole by the way and then we got uh, my permanent plyo stands and my homemade <laughs> using Weston bars nerf bars off of a Chevy Suburban uh, my little glute hamstring developer whatever else I can think to use it for um, the plyo stands are this one I think is 22 inches and that one's 20 inches above the ground um, and then we move to that's my dry erase board for any workouts we do and then I move over here these are my tires for sledgehammers they're just off triaxles I got my plyo boxes that I've built 12 inch 6 inch and then I got the three ways I've got 16 20 and 18 and 20 30 24s there uh, if I move this plyo box underneath these are horse mats I have grid work for agility drills painted on the on the mats come over here uh, you'll see some things that I've got scattered logs that I want to use for a obstacle course I want to build then I got my tires uh, I got the 24 what is this? <laughs> got my Bridgestone here um, which I cannot read the size anymore this is a 20 and a half by 24 I believe and then I've got a smaller ag tire Goodyear it's uh, 19 and a half by 24 uh, so I've got a tire that's probably, from what I've been told, close to 400 pounds, and a tire that's probably maybe, maybe a couple hundred pounds, 225 maybe at, at the most. Um, there, so there's my gym right now. Uh, soon, I believe, in that area, just on the other side of the plyo stands, will be dip uh, parallel bars used for dips and. Some other stuff they'll be fully adjustable from from three or I'm sorry from five feet up to seven feet I believe but that's it any questions give me a comment uh, I get cost questions on cost and how it's made I know I started out just talking about the bottom but I might as well show it to y'all uh, if the uh, any questions on anything just send me a message uh, I have no problem answering it I'll get back to you as soon as I can sometimes I don't don't get caught up very fast uh, cost maybe right now as it sits with the mats plyo boxes everything that I showed you in this video I got to be close to two grand um, I stained it all myself used regular lumber uh, none of its treated simply for the fact the way treated warps when it dries uh, so but it made it through its first winter it's been standing for a year and it just feels just as sturdy so any questions uh let me know and i will be posting maybe some workouts as we work out this summer thank you